it's enough. Thirty love. Forty love. Again, Djokovic. First game. Well, well as I said, there's a possibility the CD player could be a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Great start for Djokovic. You know, it's early days, but you want to try and stamp your authority on the match, and he's come out there and looked to dictate. Olivier Rocus sous Pascal Maria is the man in the chair. One of the most experienced of umpires. Good one. Fifteen off. Djokovic falling for the first slice. Three feet behind the baseline, but still managed to generate the power for a clean winner down the line. I think it's really that weight of shot that could be Rockus's problem. I mean, he's served four first serves so far, and the fastest has been 105 miles an hour. It's whether he can really dominate these rallies from the baseline. Really amazing to see how some of the players slide on any surface these days, whereas a clay court, hard court, or a grass court. Djokovic isn't always comfortable in moving on a grass court. It's early evening time. But he seems to be entirely happy with his movement so far.
Dann die ich Bock jetzt. Game Rockets. One game. Well, clearly an important hold, but quite a contrast between the two games. Perhaps uh, indicates a coming pattern. Very much so. He's Rockets is really not able to get any cheap points on his serve, and they're getting into baseline rallies. I think um, Djokovic is too good a player for. Rockers to be able to dominate. Fifteen up. Ah. Seems to be all there from the start. And I would think quite a lot for the Belgian to think about. Djokovic has come out here looking as though he's really intent on getting on with it. He looks very comfortable and he's played a few good shots already and no There's point drop. Two real, games. real air of authority about him. I think um, I think that's the way you want it to be. First first round. He's the he's the high ranked player. He's three in the three in the world. He wants to sort of show his boss and um, two faultless service games to start off with. He got into Rockus' um, own service game and I think that's a theme. I, I just really struggle to see how Rockus is going to keep holding serve. Well, this is uh, Djokovic's record. But the Australian win in uh, 2008 hasn't perhaps been followed up quite as people expected. But I mean, it's semi-finals, quarter-finals, at times people ask an awful lot. Very consistent. You see on the, the right hand side there his last performances, three quarter finals and a semi finals in the Grand Slam. So he's he's putting himself in position. I wouldn't have thought it would be long before he uh, gets over the finish line again. So Rockers from Thank you. the opposite end of the Royal Box. Or a box in which Her Majesty the Queen will take her seat on Thursday this week. <laughs> Sharp as attack is. Law 15. Also one of Rockus's best serves. Wide, getting Djokovic off the court, but fantastic return.
Lafferty. Fifteen thirty. Some Barton support in the crowd. Well done, but it's hard work for him. enough. First point, Djokovic has dropped it on serve. On the first nine. Thirty-eight. 
30-15. Aggressive hitting from the baseline. I think one of the aspects that we need to watch out for is, is their court positioning. You look at Djokovic, he's playing every shot on the baseline, inside the baseline. Rokas is getting five, six, seven feet behind, and that's going to make life difficult for him. Again, Djokovic. Djokovic leads three games to two. First hit. Yes, the Belgian is certainly going to have to work very hard for everything he gets on the evidence of what we've seen so far. But uh, he's been around a bit, 29 years old now, and uh, ranked 66th, 10th appearance here, and uh, 38th appearance at the Grand Slam. Once got to the last 16, that was in 2003. Once beat Marit Safin here, which is probably one of his more enjoyable times. But it's a few years back, so Safin more in his prime than uh, we saw in the closing stages of his career, even though he's missed Safin character. And there the match record of uh, Mr. Rogers. Won his first title in Palermo in 2000. Time. And he was the shortest ever winner they put in the record, which was a bit <laughs> tough. I don't know whether anybody's any smaller has won one since, but I doubt it. Five feet five. But good things he's, come in small he's played, um, he's played against Ivo Karlovic on a couple of occasions. Ivo, unfortunately, not with us for this tournament, out with an Achilles, injury, uh, Achilles tendon injury. But uh, Karlovic at six foot ten, playing against Rockus at five foot five. It's, uh, it's quite a sight at the handshake. Some you win, some you lose. He really set himself for that in the way that he usually does. If you don't succeed, try, try, try again. <laughs> and at least with that one, he was in the right position on the court. He's sort of on the baseline, set up with a, an aggressive shot. The one before, five feet behind the baseline, was never going to work. No. But needs a bit of work on the execution.
40-13. You could argue that Djokovic has won or lost all five points in this game. <laughs> he just has that extra weight of shot. They rally, 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 and it's it's always going to be decided with by Djokovic whether he's going to step up and hit the winner or yeah. whether he's going to make the unforced error. Can't really imagine he's going to need too many drop shots against someone like Rockers. Looked like a, a straightforward service game for Rockers. Up 40, love. Looked like he might have one comfortable hold of serve. Has now become another battle. Certainly a good hit, but look where he's making contact with this. Stepping in a little bit further up the court. in games but certainly not in the amount of work each man has had to produce to bring it to three all that's going to be a triple psycho any minute Again, not really sure about the choice of shot from Djokovic, the drop shot. He's dominating these rallies when they're trading ground stroke to ground stroke. So why is he then bringing Rockus into a stronger court position? You tell me. 
But first time he's dropped the opening point on his serve. We certainly got into echo mode on the centre court. A more aggressive in this game. Ah, oh, would you believe it? The break points from their camera against Djokovic and three of them. Worked hard to get in this position, but uh, Djokovic has contributed to his problems. Predictable this game at times. <laughs> Djokovic, yeah, just before that game had only lost one point on serve, was was really dominating, high percentage of first serves, and, and um, I think again it was it was dictated by the, the drop shot, the first point of the game. Um, I, I wonder if it's a sign of slight lack of confidence, maybe and you know a slight nerves issue first first round, first day of the tournament, but. Um, I think he just made life a little bit harder for himself. Then was down love 40, played two strong points, but caught, couldn't quite manage to get the third one. So, um, yeah, it's Rockers that's got the break, and let's see whether he can hold on to that. Well, all credit to, uh, to Rockers seizing the opportunity. He, he did take a more aggressive stance in that. I mean, he was, as you said before, invited in by his opponent, and... Uh, Started throwing things around in his house. That's right, yeah. And then it in. Stepping into the backhand, getting a little bit further up the court and, and being aggressive. Time. It's very, very difficult to defend on a grass court. You, you, you want to be the one that's dictating and 
and uh, it's a fine line for, for Rockus, obviously, given his height and, and um, sort of lack of physical stature. But, uh, you know, he's, he's a great ball striker when he can get forward and, and be aggressive. That's when he's at his most dangerous. Little puff of the cheeks as he was uh, given the new balls to serve with. And a couple of notches to his pace. Thirty fifteen. Please don't use flash photography. Thank you very much. Forty thirty. Fourth juice of this opening set. They've all come on uh, the Belgian serve. Classic Djokovic forehand. Gives him a break back point. Uh, interesting yes. tactics by uh, Rockus. To suddenly come rushing in. The like slight miss hit return, yeah, the ball yeah. dropped short. It was like he, he didn't really have an option, but on break point down, you know, coming behind a good approach shot, it's never a, never a bad play, and Djokovic couldn't make the topspin lob. Yeah. 
Vladej Djokovic. I feel like that was the right play, but he just didn't quite get enough on the approach shot. Could have perhaps gone back behind Djokovic, but went to the open court and Djokovic was able to really get something on the passing shot. Surprising miss there from Djokovic. Break point up, break point opportunity, going over the high part of the net on just a routine rallying shot. Nine unforced errors, as you see from the Serbs racket. Make that ten. Game of this. It was not only the shout, but the attempted return of that serve, which showed uh, how uh, Djokovic is feeling. And snatched at things, he's probably inwardly irritated. <laughs> Serving to stay in this first set. 15 of. Such 
30-15. Great defensive skills there from Rockus. I think Djokovic had a little bit of a wry smile. I think um, four of Rockus's shots landed within about six inches of the baseline consecutively when he was on the defensive. leads five games to four. Good game that for, for the serve. It was a good game. When when you play someone like Rockus, it's so important you've got a clear game plan in your mind. Because Rockus is not going to be, beat himself. He hasn't got the biggest weapons, but he knows how to manage his game. And as we've said on, on numerous occasions, the rallies are being decided by Djokovic, and he plays one great rally where he dictates, he works Rockus over with his forehand, comes in and knocks the, the volley off, and you say, well, that's a great point. Two points later, he just rolls a backhand into the net, and that kind of sort of implies to me that he's not quite sure of the way that he wants to play, and, and um, if he has that doubt, that's where Rockus could be dangerous. It's curious because he came out looking as though he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Time. And seemed to be in great nick. That's right. He, he dominated his first three service games, dropped one point, and then, then it was that drop shot that sort of triggered things. And, um, you know, from that moment on, he, Rockus only needed a, a half chance, and here he is walking out to, to serve for the first set. Oh, interesting to see whether the point is... Uh, made to Djokovic himself and indeed to somebody who's uh, playing tomorrow. <laughs> Thirty love. been a good way to win the set. Yeah. Nobody at home. And Rock 
Manifest to his obvious delight has the opening set. Okay. Six games so far. Well, the number three seed is following the number one seed in losing the opening set here on the centre court today. And it came after a thoroughly confident and competent start. He lost his way. That's right. Now, um, now he's got a battle on his hands. Rockus has got his tail up. He's got into the match. He's hitting his shots well from the baseline, and and um, he's making life difficult for Djokovic. Djokovic now has to kind of wipe the slate clean and say, "Okay, that one's out of the way. It wasn't my best set. I need to need to look from the start of the second set. Try and regain that authority. Get an early break." Try and get on top, whereas Rockus is thinking, you know, this is, this is a good opportunity. Sky. The touch of blue there all day. Time. Never any threat to the roof. Go. You rule. Not at the moment, he doesn't, young man. It's a good start, that's for sure. Set two. Fifteen off. Well, that's how he opened the match, and he carried on that way. Till uh, the middle of the set. Thirty.
Djokovic. First game, second set. And Djokovic jogs very happily to the uh, to the chair, and I think his connections, his coach, Maria Vida, will be happy to see one game to the good start reasonably quickly. That's right, and uh, trying to pick the positives, it's uh, he's serving first in the second set, try and keep his nose in front and, and then uh, build a little pressure on, onto the rocker's serve. But uh, he'd certainly like to try and change the momentum early. Rockers up the set and he'll look to, uh, Djokovic will look to try and get this early break. Great deep approach shot there from Rockus, moving the ball away from Djokovic, and he couldn't come up with the topspin lob required. Dropped, I regret to say, by the Lions lady. Chances here, Djokovic with the early break. Really feel the extra tension in this opening service game for Rockus in the second set.
Yes. It was a good rally, but I just had the feeling Djokovic was playing the rally not to miss. And I think that's a sort of a little bit of a negative mindset. I think that when Djokovic has almost been able to bully Rockus, that's when he's he's moved him side to side, come in and finish the point at the net. He's had success. Yes. Advantage Djokovic. Second chance. Serve and good attacking play by the Belgian. Yes. It's actually been very aggressive when he's been in uh, a little bit of a hole. Djokovic. Good controlled aggression there. That's the shot selection, picking the right ball that's there to be hit. He got the slight miss hit from Rockers. The ball was at shoulder height. <coughs> Executed that forehand very well. Turns immediately to his connections. It's and I think we're going, going to have right uh, first use of Hawkeye. Wasn't one in the opening set. Certainly worth the challenge from Rockus. A big point like this, hoping it's got the back edge of the line. And it has. Oh, wow. yes. Now, he's getting a lot of things right, the Belgian, and his eyes are sharp from the other end of the court. <laughs> Happy little fella. Djokovic still to take the break point. Immediately another break point follows from the deuce. About eight minutes on the game. Same conclusion. Djokovic leads to Gemsonov. Second set. Mm. He's got what he wanted. By oh, heck, he had to work for it. You could see by this reaction how badly he wanted it, how badly he wants to turn this match around. Good family support.
Belgium running half across the continent. Thirty love. Got it right that time. Uh, again, I think he has a case. Rock is, really. Rock is just having a look at the ball to see if there's any of the white, what was chalk, on it. Second set. <laughs> so, second set. Second serve, too. Mr. Djokovic has two challenges remaining. the hardest hitter of all, but he certainly injects pace with purpose. So the break confirmed and the match swinging back to Djokovic. Change of the lines persons. The only match I did today, they changed after 12 minutes, which uh, was a slight surprise. But apparently the time they were sitting there waiting for the players counts in the official timing they're allowed to be that. Yes, one, one or two have a earlier appointment, a supper appointment, a dinner appointment. Maybe just the time of the train. Just past half past seven. Time. This one's got a long way to go yet. Crowd taking their time to settle down. He will be more settled in his mind now. He seems settled at this stage of the first set, although he wasn't leading with three love. But he was in command as he is now. That's the type of point that I want to see Djokovic repeat time and time again. Admittedly, he won't hit all the shots that as well as that, but that is the theme. And if he does that, I think he can just dominate. And if he does that, he could go a long way in the championship. Absolutely.
slipped. 30 15. Question 15 30. Quite a few doubts in his mind. Fifteen fourteen. And all of a sudden, it's Rockus making the unforced errors. for the double break. Changed the pace of the rally and then lost control of the forehand. Right point. Just listen to the sound of this rally, by the I mean, not necessarily the strokes, but the, the uh, exhalation, shall we say. If you couldn't see anything, you could actually have a pretty good idea of what was going on, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's right, yeah, I think it's... <laughs> you can definitely hear the sound of who's dictating the point and who's yeah. doing the running. And where it changes. And he's risen to the challenge now with some style. Rockus is not really in the contest. Ace number eight and Good stuff all around now from Djokovic. Yeah, I think it also it emphasizes what a fine line it is between Djokovic losing that first set 6-4, not too much changing in the second set, maybe cutting out a few unforced errors, being a little bit more aggressive from the baseline when he has the chance, and, and all of a sudden he's up five, five games to love. So, uh, again, I think it emphasizes the point that Djokovic is, is controlling this match. Whether he's going to win it or lose it is kind of in his hands and if he keeps this uh, this type of form up the intensity i think he can um, you know continue to dominate i well, we think these two are going to stay all night aren't they 
Yeah. He's got, got the warm gear Charlie. there. And they were pretty lucky they weren't going home. I think Rockers thinks this set's not going to be going on for much longer and I've still got a couple of challenges, so I might as well, <laughs> might as well have a go. Fortune. 15, 13. And he'd, he'd like a bit more, Tim, so that he can serve first in set three. has achieved presumably what he wanted. He will serve first in the uh, third set. Take his name now, we may need to know it later. Love. Just wanted to show that he does know how to do it to perfection. It's rubbing salt into the wound, lobbing a guy that's five foot five, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Where's my ladder?
First double fault of the match. I was just thinking about your line on, on listening to the players and how the, you know, the rally is f forming just by their, their grunts. Djokovic is not grunting in this game. <laughs> Promise you he wasn't. Number nine. And it's set point. <laughs> well constructed point side to side came into the net backed off and played the delicate drop shot Djokovic leads five games to two, second set, first set focus. Explain, please.
time. He's got a long way to go to pull right back in this set. A lot of people would have thought, well, OK, you've got what you want. You're going to start serving first in the, in the third set. Now there's a danger that he won't. Well, there is, but um, I think the frustrating thing from Djokovic's point of view was he was he was dominating the set. He looked like he'd got the game plan sorted out, and he's got away from it again. Love of tea. I suppose if he can get it up to 5-3, then it's up for grabs a bit. And it's just un unnecessary sort of drama and stress that really not needed. He's, he's still in control, and I think we're both sitting here fairly sure he's going to win this set, but, you know, he could have really maintained that momentum, won the set 6-1, and started to put pressure on early in the third. Have to wait a little bit longer. Not a particularly fast serve, though, it has to be said. So here are three more set points. Slightly curious conclusion, and Djokovic will now be serving first in the third set. It's a real, a real mixed bag, isn't it? You see that that service game from from uh, from Djokovic's point of view. When Rockets missed his first serve, he was moving into the court, taking the second serve early, looking to dominate, and he hit a couple of fantastic returns. So my question to be. To, to him would be why don't you do that all the time and I just think it's it kind of points to a lack of clarity lack of of game plan of of what he's trying to do on the court I think that fully qualifies you well you were there already but in the commentary team when you're questioning the things that players do <laughs> on the court <laughs> well, I never have, never have done anything like that myself but uh, much better set from from Djokovic 18 winners to, to seven um, forced errors. That's very good. Very good numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you leave your seat, please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Please do not leave property unattended at any time. Oh, Santa Court crowd certainly getting their money's worth today. Time. Time and the place for the drop shot. Great first serve, sets up the defensive reply. He's got Rockers backpedaling. Played it well. Oh. 
15 नो Thirty fifteen. Forty thirty. Chance for the Belgian. Double faults and errors just about everywhere. This is a very uncertain contest. Absolutely. It be. Absolutely. I mean, you, you think that maybe Djokovic is going to start to get that momentum serving first in the third set, a couple of good early points, and, and then two double faults, a, a slice back in there just halfway up the net. And, and all of a sudden, he's, the pressure's back on him. Rockus has got the, the early break. Serb will be telling himself and his team will be feeling the same way he needs to break back straight away not to prolong any sort of agony and that's the advantage he's got playing someone like Rockus. it's not as if he's going to stand up and 
whack down a couple of aces, he's going to be in all these points. He's got to find a way to win them. Point. Block 13. Smart play from Rock as he hit the slice back and it wasn't really an approach shot, but when he saw how effective the shot was going to be, he crept in behind it and knocked off the, the backhand volley beautifully. Great credit to the Belgian. Djokovic has gone walkabout a bit again. Talked about the time and the place in the first game, but that's not that's not it. He's a yard behind the baseline. Rockus is in good court position. What does he achieve? He's going to bring Rockus to the to the net, and um, it's going to be behind the eight ball. Lock thirty.
below 14. From a guy that's three in the world and has won a Grand Slam, it's amazing to see him, you know, have fluctuations in his his level of play, his intensity. Suddenly, love two, love 40. Again, Marcus. Marcus leads three games to low, third set, one set all. Well, presumably the players know that this would go to a finish. I mean, the conditions are perfectly good now, but uh, there's no way that he's going to be able to d disappear. I suppose he can at the end of the set, but somewhere along the line, he needs a moment, a time out to really consider what the heck's going on here. It amazes me. He, you know, just lost his serve to love there and, and uh, was walking back to his chair, just looking up at the box as if to say, what is going on and, and there's there's no good looking up at the box for at his players box for answers he's, he's got to work it out himself he's got to find that strategy that game plan that won in the second set and continue to do it in the third set cut the drop shot out cut the unforced errors out and look to build the point by dictating and and being the aggressor but um you know amazing that uh, he's Time. 15 minutes ago, he'd won the second set, and I think we both sat here thinking that he was going to dominate the match, and uh, he's now three love, two breaks of serve down in the third set. I'm afraid that rule is in some jeopardy now. He's got good support there, he's got good support from his brother and from his team. But as Tim Hedman just said, when it comes to it, down to the player. Oliver Rokus, Belgian three love up. that player we've just seen in that last point Tim is going to hang around for a bit longer <laughs> it's amazing because there's two different players out there Up to 25, and I think he must wonder, what on earth am I doing out here? That's extraordinary. This fellow certainly knows what he's doing, but Djokovic at times appears not to do so at all. <laughs> Superbly constructed. 15 <coughs> for service.
Tatio. That was not the best bounce 40, in the world, 30. it has to be said. Came up off the line, presumably. I mean, it did shoot. I think it was just a little bit inside the line, perhaps, where the players land after they served, and it really did pop up, and not a lot he could do about that. The world is against me. Can he find the plaster for the first repair? Cheerleader. Let second service. Fifteen.
fall to 15. I'm probably feeling a little better down there, but uh, I'm sure they're not counting any chickens. Uh, uh, 16 minutes past eight in the evening. Quite a bright... Oh, look at that. I'm just going to walk into it, though. I wouldn't put money on either of these two at the moment. But what we do know is that the match will be concluded this evening. Because they have this thing up here that we saw very briefly 12 months ago. And uh, Andy Murray prospered under it, but working hard to do so, uh, as I recall. But conditions really... Time! Oh, very good. I don't think we're going to reach this stage. Unless we have uh, many more long games where nobody's making a decision. Well, the, pat the pattern of the match is there is no pattern. And uh, looking at the stats, there's already eight breaks of serve midway through, through the third set in a men's match on grass. It's, um, it's very unusual. So uh, we just have to sit back and and wait and see what's going to happen, but uh, Rocker still has the edge, but uh, he was a lot better off serving a three-love double break than 3-2 with just the one break of serve.
30 years old. Just a little hasty then. His style has been to be very patient. Slicing his way. Here now break point to Djokovic. You feel the intensity is more with the Belgian now. And in terms of the quality of play, he's pretty high up, whereas this fellow's pretty low down in their own personal abilities. It's amazing to see that shot again, and every time that he's playing it, it seems like it's he's hitting the panic button. This is running out of ideas from the baseline, how he's going to outmaneuver Rockus, and ends up going for the drop shot, and it's it's really not not working. Fifty dollars. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen. 
Bicyclette Fosseries. Thirty fourteen. to be too high. New balls, please. But the fact that he's hung the up and up is clear for all to see. 5-2. Ian Ritchie just getting up, going out of shot there and And Jones on the phone. Probably just call in to see what time it's going to get dark, because <laughs> by the way this match is, is going to go, they're going to need to shut the roof to, to get the additional light needed to complete it. And that will take time to close it, to get the light, to get the atmosphere and so on. That's right, it's, um, I think the process of actually shutting the roof doesn't take too long, but they have to get the, the, con the conditions inside to the optimum temperature and so that you don't get any humidity, you don't get any moisture on the grass and uh, so that it's totally dry, so the guys, the players are not going to slip any more than they already are. in the crowd will be happy to stay to the end and if we took a straw poll I think it would be inconclusive as to what that end would be Fifteen on.
Chairman Tim Phillips being drawn into the discussion as to whether or not the roof will need to be closed. 3015. Set point for Olivier Rockus to lead by two sets to one. Yes. Looked as though it was plumb on the line. Decided he wouldn't. Uh, Ask for a second opinion, or a definitive opinion. Leads five games to three, third set. And the fifth break of serve in this set. And the tenth of the match. Extraordinary. Have you ever seen anything like it, sir? Fifty now. Five double faults in this set. And Djokovic. Well, in today's program, it refers to this man as being of a feisty nature, and he really has been very determined. Two more set points for the Belgian.
good, was it? The world beats six games to three. Olivier Rocas leads, Rockus by, leads by two, two sets, sets to one. And now what's going to happen? Every chance at some stage, that if they're going to close Ladies the and roof, they've got to you do it. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Please Jared. do not leave property in attending at Referee. any time. Informing the Belgian. Crowd don't know what's happening. Players going to be told first, clearly. But we understand that they will close the roof now. Because it might get too dark and it might get too slippery. And then if it was in the middle of the set, Tim, it would be too late and they obviously couldn't stop it. Well, I suppose they could stop it at three all and do the roof. I mean they stop it for bad light at three all in days gone by. It's definitely getting a little bit Ladies darker out here, and I think the play is suspended. We will close the roof, we will resume play around 20, 30 minutes. Left off at the end of the third set. So the break between set three and set four. 43 three minutes. We start at 9.17, having stopped at 8.34. And it's Olivier Rocas who leads by two sets to one to start set number four. Foot for hot call, something we haven't had before in the match. Yeah. And certainly the level of the crowd's uh, volume has gone up. It would Can seem that some of the some of the tickets has obviously been handed in as people are leaving and they've been replaced by others who have been queuing. And I also think now with the with the roof closed, I think it makes that atmosphere a little bit more intense. will be disappointed I mean up the rally and got himself to the net unable to make a kill Constructed point from Rockus. He gets the short ball here, and if anything, just chose the wrong way. Djokovic was moving over to cover the backhand and picked off the pass. And don't know if it seems to you, Barry, but even after four points of of part two, the standard seems to have gone up. Yes, I certainly wouldn't argue with that. I think it is the greater intensity. The feeling of the crowd is closer and noisier and. Might in this set be greater support for Djokovic because I'm sure most of the crowd hoping they're going to see two more sets here. 
And he has a chance in this opening game. Break point. Good serve at 110 miles an hour, and that was a that was a quick one for Rockus. I'm sure somebody will explain to me why should that plane seem more noisy when it goes over when the roof is closed than it was when the roof is open. First challenge of this ball set. I think by Djokovic's reaction walking towards the other side, it might be uh, just on the edge of the line. It's not a great feeling getting aced by a 109 mile an hour serve. chance for Djokovic disappeared very quickly Rockus in the lead still one or two hardy souls it's quite a mild night though out on uh, Henman Hill but Henman's in here with me <laughs> Clive Woodward among the watchers. He would have been pleased with the result for his ex-captain, Martin Johnson, the weekend. Major factor here is going to be whether he can find the service rhythm with which he started the match and which certainly disappeared during the course of that last set. Better play this from Djokovic. Nice slice down the line. Rockus really hits the pass well, but Djokovic able to use his athleticism to cut the ball off at the net. to this rather different feel. A real feel on that drop shot.
Roof looks really quite spectacular. It is. Good solid opening by Djokovic, applauded by his uh, coaching team, younger brother. Rockus was certainly like this shot back. First gift of the evening session, I think. Can he play by Djokovic? And here are two break points this time. Couldn't take the one in the opening game of the set. at the right time. Well, that was the first for Barakas, double four. It just seems in sort of uh, part two of djokovic Rockus, Djokovic really starting to cut out the unforced errors. We were talking about far too many points that were finishing with, uh, with mistakes in, in, in part one, but... Uh, it just seems at this stage, I don't want to speak too soon, but Djokovic <laughs> looks like he's kind of regrouped a little bit. He's still uh, playing aggressively, but cutting out the uh, unforced errors. And if he does that, then I really think he can uh, he can be the one to stamp his authority and, and win this match and go through to the, the next round. It's that little word that means so much, if. Time. The chairman Tim Phillips in his seat among the many changes made during his tenure which ends this year is the roof which has come into play. And Phil Brooks sitting behind him who is um, taking over as the next chairman.
And the break be confirmed. 50 long. It's a round dozen. As I thought, I was speaking too soon. Fifteen love, and you think, yeah, this is going in the right direction for Djokovic. And then three unforced errors on the forehand. All of a sudden, Rockus just keeping the ball in play. Got two breakback points. Risk of being rude to Rockus, his uh, size really much. worked against him there. The bounce was too high. He had little room for manoeuvre. Don't think his timing helped too much either. expression is the uh, the break confirmed but I'm not sure that confirmed is quite the right word the way Djokovic is giving such an in and out performance
Only at 92 mph and uh, Djokovic got right on top of it. time hasn't been doing it all the match it's a question of forcing a little bit maybe but it's also it's also unfortunately the one call you can't really argue because you can't see what your feet are doing because you should be looking at the ball so by the Belgian but not by the serve. 40-30. Is it just me, or every time he, he gets a second serve and he steps in and hits it on his back and aggressively, he wins the point? Every time he gets into these rallies and starts playing drop shots, he loses the point. Spot on, I would say. of double break. One problem previously, slipping. Lit. A 
trahi. But it was that magnificently consistent backhand from this man that set up that opportunity. It is an amazing stroke. It has not failed him. stays at the one break. Proving your point, Tim, here, I think. That's right. Uh, this is Djokovic's point of contact when returning serve, and, and you look at all the uh, all the dark spots there, the second serve returns, he's, he's getting He's getting inside the court, and I think that's been very effective, effective for him. I'd really like to, you know, see him being aggressive and, and dictating the play, and if he, uh, he keeps that consistency up, then um, it's going to be effective because, with all due respect, he's not going to be put under a lot of pressure with, with Rockus' second serve. It's really, you know, starting the point. Time. Eighty-six percent service returns in. This is a real bonus for the crowd. I don't know how many of them have been watching all day from Federer's near demise to his amazing recovery and the performance of Laura Robson. Lost to Jankovic, but certainly uh, in the second set in particular, played well. Now to this fluctuating match. Antidote somewhere because it seems to be catching the drop shot itis.
Touch it off. Bit too close for comfort for the serve. Again, showing the aggression. I think you could argue that Djokovic hasn't done that enough, gone back behind his man. For Djokovic, which is how he started proceedings two hours and 40 minutes ago. Two love games he opened with. Credit to Rockus there, hanging in, holding his serve, keeping Djokovic honest, but I still sort of sit here and don't see either player sort of grabbing the match by the scruff of the neck. Well, that's certainly true. Now, you said the ball's coming out. What difference will the closing of the roof make for their flight? Anything? Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, obviously, as we touched on it earlier, there's yeah. there's going to be no wind out there for sure. It's uh, it's it's still conditions, but um, yeah, I, th I think with the, the new balls, obviously, they're a little bit quicker through the air to begin with until they've been played with for a couple of games. That's when the the felt gets a little bit more ruffled up. But well, that's the case normally. I'm wondering whether there's yeah, any change. I, I, I still think the. Uh, uh, the jury's out there in in Australia, where there are, are two sliding roofs. Uh, the conditions can really vary when it closes. Sometimes the court plays a little bit quicker. Sometimes it's slower. I don't know what the reason is for that, but um, I think until we've we've had a few more test cases under the roof here at Wimbledon, um, yeah, the jury's out. Staying with that point when uh, Murray played in the in the match where they used the roof last year, he talked about how he felt the humidity was much greater. It was very hot, you know, his hand was sweating a lot and 
therefore the conditions were a bit heavier. Pick up off the net called by uh, Rockus. Oh, then he was left with an impossible task. Making the best use of this new set. from the umpire, no challenge from Djokovic. Sets up a break point for Rockers to get back on level terms at 4 all, fourth set. Quite sure why that should be allowed. Ah, uh, that is Rockets. Oh, dear, dear. Yeah. Tenth double fault in the match. They're suffering a bit in there. Fourteenth ace to the rescue.
of Hawkeye. Uh, Djokovic. So it's Djokovic who has the advantage and not Rokus. It's all very much on the edge. And not always by intent. Rockus's fifth service game in this set, and in three of the previous four, he's had to save break points. Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy to both players, don't use cameras with a flash. Thank you. opportunity.
And we're past 10 o'clock. Yes, right in the corner. I don't think it's This time he got it completely right. Gave no opportunity for Rockus. And here, set point to Djokovic. Come the equal longest game. <laughs> Last four set game was the eighth game of the match, obviously in the first set. Has got himself into this position, in which he then won the game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> got what it asked for, I'm afraid. I just watch a shot like that and say to myself, you know, if you've got that ability to do it, why don't you do it point after point? Because it's so effective. Guess he likes to just hit the drop shots. <laughs> First of his. Uh, 
Lodis Djokovic. Well, thumping return off either flank. Second set point. Three hours play. Ah, uh, that is Rokes. Six juices in the game. You must be thinking to yourself, what have I got to do to put this little Belgian away? the high point yes. of quality of the match. was the same, one by Rockus, and in the process saving two set points. Game well over ten minutes. This, as you can see, is the longest set by seven minutes and counting. You've got to hand it to him, haven't you? I know that Djokovic is not taking the chances that come his way, but he's surviving. He fights, doesn't he? He doesn't get given, doesn't get given much to him in, in terms of the way that he can win cheap points. So he has to keep, uh, keep fighting, keep using the, the backhand that you talked about and, and keep believing, and he's... Uh, He's done a great job there of holding on to his serve and making Djokovic serve out the set. It's not always the easiest game to win. And uh, looking at the stats so far, Djokovic has lost his serve on six occasions. Rockers will be keen to, to make that seven.
Bokas looking to be the aggressor in that point. He was the one that was prepared to step in and take the ball on. Djokovic looking like he just didn't want to miss. purpose on the first point and then a, a forehand halfway up the net from from Djokovic puts him down love 30 half chance here for Rockers to get back on level terms Defence into attack. Fifteen forty. Two break back points. And there's no question that he's earned these. The serving is diffident. His opponent is nervous, but the Belgian is playing really well. Mr. Djokovic, he very calmly dug himself out of a hole there. With two points. Good first serve there at 30 40, but uh, really didn't do enough with the approach shot. And I think he was delighted to see that backhand pass go in the net to get Djokovic back to deuce. Advantage. 
Rockers. Oh, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Rockers wishes it was all square, but he's got another break point here to try and get back to five all. And the 16th brings up a third set point. Chances that he had to get back to parity. But at one point, will the commentator of its arrival? <laughs> and of course, no, uh, no tiebreak. No tiebreak in the fifth set here at Wimbledon. But uh, I kind of think these first four sets, both players kind of, you know, put them to the back of the mind and just say, right. This is it. One good set, I think, is there for the taking for either player. But it's who's going to stamp their authority early. I think uh, we've seen in each of the four sets, the person that, that gets on top early is, has been able to, uh, to take control. But still, it's very, very difficult to predict what's going to happen in a match of this nature. It has been a... An extraordinary roller coaster. <laughs> oh, I'm not accepting that as an excuse. You've, I've had the meal in the oven for hours, it's ruined. Where are you? You mean you're not watching? Come on! <laughs> Final set, Olivia Mokizuzov. They will certainly have earned their day off tomorrow. One of them, it would be a day only of regrets.
minutes wide. Mr. Djokovic is turning the car on the right far side. Ball was pulled out. Uh, Djokovic doesn't agree. That probably goes down as the worst challenge of the championship so far. It's amazing he plays two points like that where it's absolutely exquisite shots and then two points later can be uh, missing anything. in the opening game of this final set. Forty love ball back to Deuce. Just a quick look at the umpire. Carries on. Attempt. <laughs> Would have been to get anything on that. Don't think there's a lasting damage. game for Rockers to come through there. You thought 40 Love, he was going to get a, an easy service game at the start of the fifth, but Djokovic did well to, to respond, get back to Juice. So I'll let you have the first choice, Barry. Who, who, who do you want in this fifth set? Who do you think's going to...? Just a bit of an inquiry to the umpire here by, by Rockers. Yeah. 
How's your French as well? Yeah. We were talking in French at the start, and now... If you were making the award to the most consistent, the more consistent player, not the copper, but the Marcus <laughs> <laughs> would win comfortably. It's not to say he hasn't had his moments of inspiration, but the uh, high points and low points for Novak Djokovic have been, shall we say, in the extreme. They certainly have. It's just whether he's going to be able to time a high point for this for this fifth set to get himself over the finish line. I'll tell you what, we don't know, and I suspect neither does he. Love one, final set. Love now, the what was that? I think we can say it was an attempt at another drop shot, but not a particularly good one. They say that in sports, sportsmen and women, you need to have a stubborn streak. Djokovic is certainly showing us that he's got a stubborn streak with the use of these drop shots. What are we giving him, about a four for artistic impression? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't quite as good as Djokovic's attempt. <laughs> There's no lack of entertainment. Centre court barely half full. Understandable at 10.30 at night, I suppose. But they're making enough noise for it to be full to capacity. become one of those I was there situations. Oh, oh Djokovic. 15 Two break points. They've been easier to come by than to take for both players. Eleventh double fault. Another one begging.
first blood and sweat to the Belgian. Tears for the Serb. Having got the early break in the fifth, you'd, you'd like him to stand up here and hit two aces and two unreturnable serves, but I've got a feeling he's going to have to work a bit harder for it. <laughs> yes, right in the corner. Surprisingly wild and really. 1540. I'll give you a moment to think about your answer, Tim, but why is it, and you know this well, why is it easier to play when you're down than when you're up? I think the simple answer to your question is expectation. And wh when you when you talk about pressure, pressure is all self-inflicted, and it's it's the mindset that you have that rock us up to love in the fifth set. He suddenly has something to lose. He he suddenly is in control of the match, and his mindset suddenly changes. And and uh, instead of just playing the point, playing uh, in the present, he suddenly starts thinking about the opportunity that is ahead of him. And uh, instead of just thinking about the process, he's, he starts to think about the outcome. And, and um, I think they've both been guilty of it at different times today. Yes, his celebration at the, at the break was a bit indicative of, <laughs> of, of that. But um, the next I think question is, how do you stop yourself? Time. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 um, it should be one of the most simple things that there is and, and everyone talks about staying in the present and it's fairly obvious that there's nothing that you can do about the past if you've hit a shot missed a shot there's nothing you can do about it it's gone and there's nothing you can do about the future you can only worry about the point that you're about to play but um you know at different times different 
times of stress and anxiety, it's very easy to let your mind wander. And, and uh, both of them really have got to, you know, try and do a good job of, of knuckling down and, and playing that next point. Possibly the most justified little dolly over the net of the match Fishy because North. Djokovic was almost sitting it out with our cameras. When you when you use the drop shot at the right time, it's a very effective shot. You, but you want to have your opponent looking to backpedal a bit when you've got him under pressure. Even Rockets had to laugh then. Difficult to see why he went there because, I mean, there was a whole parkland <laughs> to the other side. But with all due respect, someone of Djokovic's class, it doesn't matter where he goes, he just should hit a winner. Yeah. How he's missed it by 18 inches. Time for the warning, Mr. Djokovic. Interesting call from the umpire, a time violation for Djokovic, but Djokovic saying, well, the crowd was still clapping and shouting. I think he's got a point. And so it begins again. Back again at parity. Fifteen. 
18, 13. Seven out of eighteen so far. such a manner my goodness me the question is how much will it count point of the match and what a time for Djokovic to produce it Yes, brilliant. And how's this for a celebration? Time. We don't need any Burgazelas here, that's for sure. If you just saw that, you thought he might have won the tournament. Marcus thought he was on the way to doing that when he broke to be uh, two love up. This match has been full of false storms and we might well be seeing the dawn before we know who's won it. <laughs>
Just like dropping the egg in an egg and spoon race, that one. Four two. And I have heart. Seem to be the message. And the odd occasion when people have queried that about him, in fairness. Djokovic sensing his moment here. Good to see Rockers big game with a smile. Djokovic actually did a 360-degree turn in that. Or uh, well, spin, perhaps, would be a better word. Fifteen thirty. Gotta be a brain cramp for a shot like that. 4-2-15-30 in the fifth. I should think Federer is all tucked up in bed right now and certainly where Djokovic would like to be with a win under his belt.
30-40. In normal circumstances, you would say this is a virtual match point to go up the double break in the in the fifth set. But after 15 breaks of serve, who knows what's going to happen? Djokovic will serve for a place in round two. Had of a lot of effort to get through one round. Ten fifty four. It's been a struggle for Djokovic and for one of the players who's sort of a an outside bet for the tournament, that the chasing pack I think behind. Federer and Nadal is really going to have to lift his game. Going to have to improve on, on today's performance. Time. Present and future chairman. Like everyone here in the centre court, enjoying a quite extraordinary contest. Is it now coming to its conclusion? Fifty love. Thirty fifteen. I mean, that's just a staggering choice of shot there. We know he's got it a second serve, but to go for a, a flat serve at 118 miles up the middle.
did he want to climb and was he grateful? 14, 13. Ten fifty-eight in the evening, three hours and fifty-one minutes play. Match point to Djokovic. Again, <laughs> no one is remaining seated. It was often curious, it was often not by design, but that, folks, was entertainment. <sighs> and they both should take a bow. The ranking justified in the end. And listen to the applause for Olivier Rokas. Well, that's the latest conclusion ever at Wimbledon. 10.59. A match in two parts which every time one thought one knew where it was going, took a different course. Djokovic got the job done. Um, certainly not the best match he's ever played, but uh, you know he's the one that's going to be coming back on Wednesday to hopefully improve his game and what a reception he's getting. Novak Djokovic, the winner. 4 6, 6 2, 3 6, 6 4, 6 2 in 3 hours and 51 minutes. The clock has now ticked around to 11 o'clock in the evening of the first day of Wimbledon. It's been a day of some drama.